This is Jefferson Close-Up and I'm Carol Celine. My guest today is Dr. Adam Dicker. Welcome. Thank you. Now you have two kind of interesting hobbies. One is martial arts and the other is photography books, totally different. Tell us first a little about martial arts, how you got started doing that. Actually, I uh, attributed to my mother. I was, uh, I think, in sixth grade and she was looking at various activities and she said, hey, you should try this. And I tried it, enjoyed it, got into it, did pretty well, and uh, have done it for the past 40 years. Why are you still doing it? So the other end of the spectrum is your photography books. Tell us how you got into that. So photography is really about telling a story. It's about uh, explaining to people about a journey, an event, uh, something important. And my books are always devoted to something that relates to my family. And similar in science. In science, you're always telling a story. And that's where I find it's a creative process. And so you're going to start the Adam Dicker Library. Uh, what are some words that would best describe you? I'm gracious with my time, particularly <laughs> with my staff. I'm inquisitive. Um, and I try to be humorous. <laughs> and that's coming across beautifully. What's your family like? So I'm blessed to, um, I'm married. Uh, I've been married for about 26 years now to the same person. Uh, mm -hmm. I, we have three lovely children. I have a daughter who's 20, who's uh, finishing her first year at Barnard College. Mm -hmm. I have a son who's finishing eighth grade. He's 14 and um, likes Texas Hold'em and ping pong. <laughs> And I have another son who's 10 years old who wants to be an extreme sports uh, enthusiast. And uh, um, You uh, told me you knew from a very early age you wanted to be a doctor. How did that evolve in your life? So I was blessed, uh, really in elementary school, to have some great teachers in science. And uh, I got very interested in science. I enjoyed science. And through science, I got interested in really what I would call human biology. I started working in laboratories, uh, in hospitals, medical centers, etc., and um, I stayed with that. But you took some time off from science to study religion in Israel, didn't you? I again thank my mother, who one day said to me, there's no rush to go to college. I think you should take a year off and go to Israel and study. Best advice I ever got. And so you did. So did. And you also studied at Sloan Kettering? So I was fortunate to get into Cornell University's Medical College on the Upper East Side. And the program I was selected for uh, was uh, the Memorial Sloan Kettering Program, where I pursued my PhD work in one of the well-known mm -hmm. cancer labs there. And you ended up here at Jefferson as uh, chairman of the Department of Radiation Oncology with your specialties in the field of prostate cancer and brain tumors. How would you describe your approach to patient care? I like to think that I treat patients like uh, I would like my family members to be treated. Mm -hmm. We have a very personalized approach. We're, we don't run a factory. Patients get uh, an inordinate amount of time. Patients also contact us not only by phone and in person, but we use email because they find that uh, it reduces the telephone tag. Mm -hmm. Our goals are to improve cancer therapy by really pushing the envelope in every single way. Oh, that's great. You offer everything. It's nice to talk with you. Thank you.